welcome to this week's Wax Pack Dad. Hey, short and sweet. I was watching one of the fellow content creators, Stuk, and I'll I'll uh, link his page. And he had a uh, really nice um, promo for Tony Quinn's birthday. He had all three rookie cards, which is awesome. It really got me thinking. I don't own any Tony Quinn rookie cards. So I'm going to open a couple of these. Some Fleer Cello Packs and one Wax Pack. So, um, I'm just going to get at it. I got, got things to do. Ain't nobody got time for that. So, let's let's do it. You can see some of the giant cards that uh, I pulled last week from the 81 set. And that's pretty cool. So, I thought I'd put those out there. They're so big that they won't fit in the camera frame. So, uh, um, 83s. What are we looking for? Obviously, the big three. We got Boggs. We got Gwyn. We got Rhino, one of my favorite players in the 80s. Um, you also have second year Cal Ripken, Lee Smith. Um, you've got Ricky Henderson and some cool, like, two and one cards. So maybe we'll get those. Um, let's see what we can get here. I've been opening so much cello that it's, it's been closer to the cello pack, Dad. Ugh. Attack with it. We got the Oakland. Soon to be Las Vegas A's. Um, we got Black Jack Morris as a Hall of Famer. Oh, I think Kent Herbeck is all. Oh, no, Gary Gaetti is also a rookie card that year in Frankie V. So we got one. We got one Hall of Famer. And then we got one not Hall of Famer, who was a good defensive catcher, Ozzie Virgil. Biff Pakoraba. I don't know, I was going to make a Back to the Future reference. Chris Chambliss, Alan Ashby, Miguel de Leon, Dave Beard, who's clean-shaven. That's kind of weird. Okay, we got the kid, Robin Yount, and uh, Buddy Bell. That's cool. So we got one half, 0.5 Hall of Famer. Bob Welch. Stu, Dave Stewart. I think he's part of the um, Nashville, um, the expansion group, I'm trying to bring a team to Nashville. And I think that that's a great city for one. Dan Schnatzer, Paul Splitteroff. Oh, Le Grand Orange, Rusty Staub, Luis Sanchez, and Ron Janskson. All right, we got 1.5. Hall of Famers there. Nobody for the top loader yet. And let's open up these cellos. Um, I've opened three so far. Have not pulled a rookie of note. We got Dave Smith, Gianni Ray, Jesus Vega, and Ogilvy, his all star in a number of years, Jerry Kusman. Ernesto Escargariaga. Jeff Rudin. I think we pulled his rookie card was 82. Dennis Leonard. Mookie Wilson. I don't think that's his rookie card. Yeah, it looked like he'd been playing. Jeff Zahn. Bobby Greich. Give him a second baseman. I, I thought he was a third baseman. I don't... I guess I don't really know. Um, it was eight at the time. Rick Monday. I was looking to see if that was a Grace Larry Herndon. Getting a good stretch in. Greg Gross. Is this two? Are these stuck together here? Feels like there's two. We got the Cardinals and Mets. Two underachievers this year. Roger Erickson. Sweet Lou Pinella. Tim Stoddard, Ernie Witt, the infamous checklist, Jeff Little, Terry Felton, Alan Folks, Carl Millibrella, uh, checklist, Greg Pryor, hey, we'll stop on Mr. Vita Blue, um, not a Hall of Famer, um, passed away yesterday. I um, believe he had about 220 wins and one of the best overall seasons of all time. So, look, I think it was 70 or 71. 
Yeah, he was 24 and 8. I know record doesn't mean everything, but 300 plus innings pitched. ERA 1.82. Um, 300 strikeouts. I think he was the MVP and Cy Young Award winner, maybe just the MVP, but um, and a good pitcher the rest of his career too. Um, so nothing to be shamed about. Um, on this year, he had 191 wins, but I think he finished at like 210. I'm gonna keep that one. I don't own a Vita Blue, so I think that's really cool. Eric Shaw and Mike Keith and Vita was also best known for um, with the with the A's back the 70 to 75. So let's open up this last pack. So. So far these cello packs, these five cello packs have not been great. Dane Borge. We got Goose. It seems like we get Goose every time. I guess if you're going to reseal a pack, you leave, you know, Goose in there. There we go. We can, we can bring him up. To see what the mustache is gonna look like. Hoyt Bannister, Denny Bowling, Ray Knight, Rick Roden, Kent Herbeck. I think that is his second year card. All right, Robin Yount. A little bit of buzzsaw in there, but that's a cool card. Ron Lefleur, Sal Salome Parrojas. Say that ten times. David Palmer. The Quisenberry. Look at that big old Shaw in there. It's like love and life. Tom Verizer. I don't know. They could the 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 uh, photographer could do a little bit better of centering him. It's like it's a great shot of the uh, Shea Stadium. Anyway, we got the Reds. We got the Pirates. Rich Gedman don't wear plaid. Bruce Benedict. Ron Reed. So he is Rolaids Relief Man of the Year. I never heard of him, but that's the Fireballer of the Year. But that's when you could win it with like 23 saves, too. That's cool, though. Andre Robertson. Lee Mazzelli. Hey, all right. That is awesome. Second year, Cal Ripken Jr. A little off center, but I gave away my rookie card last year because I'm a dork. But that's really nice. That one's going in the PC. That's that's awesome. That's why I collect. Get a card that I don't have before. Willie Upshaw, Manny Sarmiento. They're really doing a number on me today. Sarmiento. Sarmiento. Ed Ott. Now you've got like, he's taken up all the letters. Ed is a leader in efficiency. Well, let's see, do we get a Gaetti rookie? No, we got a Randy Johnson. Man, oh man, that fastball. Woo! Tell you what, man. Blowing up pigeons and everything. Milt may or may not. Bill Stein. Carlos Diaz and Bill Castro. So, um, not the greatest rip of all time, but I'm super happy to get a second year Cal Ripken Jr. So that's really cool. Always happy to get a Rock and Robin Yount. Vita Blue, R.I.P. Jack Morris, and another .5. So we got... 1.5 robins in this, uh, 1.5 robins in a goose. It's an all avian, uh, rip. So, just thank you guys for watching. Um, really appreciate it. Stay safe. God bless.